Well, what do you get when celebrities and the mafia cross paths? Well, sometimes you get Frank Sinatra, but other times you get murder. And this is the story of celebrity and a mafia contract killing. Coming up right now. Mulligan's Nightclub here in Buffalo, New York. Famous or infamous? Let's find out. So howdy again folks, Rick from the Boondocking Bears. What you're seeing is part of Hurdle Avenue in Buffalo, New York. It looks rather mundane and tame now, but right here back in the 1970s, this was a rockin' kind of place. Now, as we know, there is so much interesting history all around us every day, and for the most part, we never even see it. Like this sidewalk. It sure looks like a normal sidewalk to me. I mean, it seems ordinary enough, nothing fancy. It begs the question, why would I even stop and look? Move on, young man. Or, is this a piece of sidewalk history? Maybe not as famous as the Walk of Stars in Hollywood, but to some, perhaps more powerful, more infamous, and the sight of celebrities mixed with the ruthless kingpins of organized crime, the Mafia. Now this building in particular back in the 1970s was a hot spot, a popular nightclub called Mulligan's. This was the place to come at night if you wanted to be seen with the rich and famous in Buffalo. This is where the celebrities came to play, from rock stars and Hollywood's elite to the idolized players of the Buffalo Bills and Sabres. They all came here to party, hang out, and dance. This was the heyday of Greg Allman, Cher, O.J. Simpson, and the stars of the National Hockey League. Every night, these and other celebs crossed this piece of sidewalk and entered these doors to party at Mulligan's. But mixed in with that star power loomed a darker side. You see, this area of Buffalo was then, and perhaps still is, the heart of organized crime territory in the city. This was mafia turf. And on October 5th, 1974, the lawless thugs of La Cosa Nostra were here in their bling, open shirts, and tailored suits to rub elbows with the stars. Now for low-level mafia foot soldier and petty crook 37-year-old Frank D'Angelo, a hoodlum in Buffalo's infamous and powerful Magadino Mafia crime family, this night wouldn't end well. You see, D'Angelo had just pulled off a sizable jewelry heist and Mafia rules require that old Frankie had to kick upstairs a share of his proceeds to the big bosses. Well, sadly for Frankie, not known to be the brightest lamp in the room, already only filled with candles, he either forgot or more likely, like most thugs, just got greedy. Despite some reminders and prodding from the big booty gumbas, a slice of the profits had never been delivered. Instead of making good on this fateful night, Cocky Frankie decided to party at Mulligan's. Now after a few drinks and schmoozing with the clientele, he decided to head home, so left in the wee hours of the morning. Well, that was bad timing, Frank. The Mafia bosses had had enough of Frank, and outside the hit was set. When Frankie appeared, the mob was waiting. Here on this piece of sidewalk, right outside the doors, where celebs and the famous passed each and every night, Petty crook Frank D'Angelo was gunned down, hit, whacked, shot in the head, murdered, mafia style, ruthlessly killed in cold blood. The cops knew the hit was sanctioned by the Magadino crime family, who were then headquartered just up the street. So let's go up there and have a look. The Buffalo crime family Magadino's headquarters in the 70s. Doesn't look like much, does it? So working out of this building once known as the Fallmark Social Club, just a few blocks north of Mulligan's, this is where Frankie's fate was sealed. Look at it. Isn't it amazing that inside this crappy little building, a crime syndicate controlled hundreds of millions of dollars of blood money in a territory spanning from Rochester to Toronto. Looking at this, it comes to mind that Hollywood portrays a tough but somewhat romantic image of the Mafia. But in reality, as this building bears witness, they are no more than low-life, sociopathic, illiterate, antisocial, murderous, and arrogant thugs. 
So there it is, folks, the sidewalk of a mafia contract murder that thousands pass by and walk over every year. And it just amazes me that as we travel in our cars, motorcycles, and RVs, that so much history is right in front of us and actually in plain sight. So as always, comment as you see fit, subscribe, smile, enjoy, be charitable, and talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.